The feedback that we get from employers in terms of the skills that these students are actually leaving Forth Valley College with, it's superior to anything that they have experienced from other training providers. We actually do train roughly about 100 apprentices a year whose final destination will be offshore. The environment that these learners are learning in is really important to us. So we have invested in flexible spaces, in the IT equipment, which has allowed our lecturers to be able to interface with our students in the workshop, but then take them to the side if they require to do so, to give them a bit more on the underpinning knowledge behind what they are doing in the workshop. The new facilities complement our existing facilities that we already had, so we're able to offer a fully rounded range of facilities to train apprentices and also full-time students on. It also means that we can work with employers and develop bespoke training for them. The money is Energy Skills Scotland funding uh, that uh, we have invested in our engineering and science area for the oil and gas. We have built a, a, a mechanical engineering facility, we have reinvested in some rigs, we have spent money on the accommodation because the equipment is all well and good, but actually the environment that these learners are learning in is really important to us. The staff have actually used the students to install the equipment, therefore you know, building the, the buying with the students to the equipment. Uh, it's also really, really good for the staff to see and it motivates them with this new equipment coming in to, to enable us to deliver better quality training. This is our new uh, apparatus in here, which is a replicating process plant. We have our mini rigs, uh, where the students are learning uh, to control levels, flows, uh, temperatures and pressures, and move various uh, material through the various drums. We have our three phase separators, where we have oil and water mixing with air, and the students are learning all about residence time, how long it takes it, the, the oil and the water to settle, and how we control the flows and the levels. The, this is a brand new apparatus we've got here, and um, be a massive asset to the learning facility here at, at Fort Valley College. Today we're in 49T, which is a distillation a unit, plant lab, and we've got a group of Opito second year students who are here uh, running the plate distillation and the pack distillation columns. You can see students are up uh, having a look at what's going on within uh, the distillation columns. The beauty of the distillation columns here is the fact that they're glass and the students can get a bird's eye view of what's going on inside which is something you can't do on site obviously. You can train a student how to cope in an emergency situation. However, by using the facilities such as the virtual control room, they're actually able to um, you know, mimic that, if you like, in a safe and controlled environment. And they wouldn't be able to do that in the workplace necessarily. Uh, we feel that we can play a major part as being the only college in Scotland uh, that's got a region with uh, an oil strip, with the refinery and, and the full grange mill strip. So I think we can play an important part in ensuring that the industry, the oil and gas industry in Scotland, both locally and in the North East, has the uh, trainees required to keep the industry going in the future. The facilities and the quality we have is, is essential really for industrial need. If what we are doing is turning out the skilled um, practitioners for the future, they need to be working on the equipment that industry are using at this moment, rather than stuff that they might have done 20 years ago. Our whole mission is about making learning work. It is about making sure that the learning works for our students, which it does because we provide them with the required equipment and a kit that uh, industry requires. But it's also about making learning work for our industrial partners, our stakeholders, who will be looking to see that what our end result practitioner is, is what they require for the industry.